good morning guys welcome back to another vlog it's been a while since i vlogged i haven't vlogged since aiden was here which was I'm trying to think like nearly two weeks ago two weekends ago one weekend ago i'm not too sure but i've just been super busy at work that i just haven't had a chance to pick up the camera i am planning on doing weekly vlogs and doing like routines and I really want to film a what I spend in a week whilst living alone in Paris but I kind of want to wait for our shows to start because then I get into like a proper routine. So for now I'm just kind of picking up the camera whenever I feel like it but it is currently Thursday. I've got a few things I need to do today. I need to, well I actually need to go get my washing soon. I put a wash in this morning so I need to go downstairs and grab that. I need to go do a mini food shop. I have a call with like a medical person to obviously do my job you need to have a medical and we haven't had them yet but we've got them on a video call today so need to call them and then maybe the most exciting part of the day is i actually need to pack because i'm going home this weekend i did mention it in my last vlog but me and aiden i don't know why we did it to be completely honest so when he was over on the sunday very last minute we just booked myself a flight home for this weekend i only have two days off this weekend and thinking about it i should have gone home last weekend because i was off saturday to monday but i'm literally going to be home for not even 48 hours but i'm so excited i'm literally going home straight after work i'm really hoping i'm gonna make my flight if i don't make my flight then probably won't be going but the plan is to make my flight to get there and hopefully just like whiz through passport control and security and then spend the weekend at home and of course i'll be bringing you guys along with me i know you guys probably miss like my mum on the channel so my mum will be making an appearance and yeah i'm just excited to go home i wouldn't say that i've got massively like homesick like i'm not necessarily going home for those reasons I'm just going home because I can and I feel like going home. So that's the plan for this weekend and obviously I need to pack today because I'm going to be at work all day tomorrow and then I actually have a party tonight to go to. It's like a house party. It was one of the girl's birthdays. I think it was like last week it was her birthday in the cast and she's having a party at her house. That's where I will be this evening. I will try and get as many clips as possible. Probably on my phone will not be whipping out the camera although everyone knows that I do YouTube. It's still a bit like... <laughs> I just feel a bit awkward still however the theme of the party is monte carlo and i can't say that i packed things for a monte carlo themed party so we're gonna have to have a little try on later on this evening to find out what i'm gonna be wearing but for now i'm gonna finish drinking my coffee also i've been obsessed with watching love is blind on my days off i really don't do much because i really like to like recover maybe do a little workout and obviously just like do adult boring things i'm not gonna lie my subscription box is currently pretty dry so i wanted to find something on netflix binge watch emily in paris in a day that was that was really bad of me and then i binge watched love is blind and i'm on the last few episodes of season three because i never watched it i watched season one didn't watch season two and didn't watch season three so i've gone back and watched season three and then i think next up i'll watch season two and then i'll be stuck again for things to watch but for now it's doing me well. So I'm currently making a little pile of clothes that I'm obviously going to be taking back home with me. I'm not going to be taking a lot because I'm literally going for like one full day and that is it. And I have also set aside the clothes that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow. So I'm actually taking my spirit jersey home because I'm really upset I knew this would happen. I actually stained it. I don't know if it's even going to pick up on camera. It's very light. It's just like a little orange stain there and there. And it's really sad because the way that I stained it was by making powdered custard and it just like splashed and went on my spirit jersey. And I knew that I was going to stain it because it's white and it was just going to happen. But anyway, this is the stuff that I'm taking home. So I've got some pyjamas because I don't have any at home. A jumper. I've already got like leggings and jeans and things at home. And then just some spare underwear because I'm actually not sure what underwear I have at home. I don't think I actually need to take it. But I'm going to take it anyway. It's only small. And then I'm just trying to decide what bag to take. Because I do also have a duffel bag which wouldn't be full to the brim. So I feel like it would be all right going on the plane as my personal item but my mum's actually coming out next weekend with a suitcase so it's not like i'm gonna be bringing loads of stuff home i think i'm literally gonna bring home a packet of biscuits and a box of coffee 
I think that's literally what I'm bringing. So I'm thinking that all of this will fit quite nicely. And then I'll also be taking this bag. I will have to put it properly into this bag whilst I'm going through like the gate or something so they don't stop me. But I take this bag to work every day and I basically just keep all of my important things in there. So like my bus pass, my keys, ID, card holder, sunglasses, mint, lip balm. And I'm also be putting my passport in there because I cannot be forgetting that. So obviously I have this on me all day tomorrow. Pop it into the bag. Currently getting ready to go out and do the food shop, but I was looking at my big coat. I've just seen the sun is literally about to poke through. So I think I'm gonna put on my aviator jacket instead, but I've had my lunch and if I'm honest, I've just been procrastinating because I just don't wanna get cold and I'm gonna have a walk down to the supermarket because it just seems a lot less lazier of me to walk down there rather than get in the bus. I know for a fact by the time I get back I'll be nice and toasty from all that walking and on the way back it's very uphill. But the initial like actually going out and getting cold was not sitting well with me but I need to probably get a move on. It's nearly one o'clock. Well I reckon by the time I get to the shops it'll be one. Probably be home for like, do you know what I don't get a move on. My call isn't until 3.45 so I've honestly got the whole day to kill so anyway I'm gonna go OTD just the standard. I just sit like this all the time. We're now back to the shop. Here is my lovely shopping bag. This bag of shopping cost me 20 euros and I was actually going to go to a cheaper shop because the shops that I go to are like, they're not expensive but they're I guess it's like a Sainsbury's if I had to put it on like the British supermarket scales but I think they do also have like an Aldi and a little here but it's quite a trek to get to but I could have walked like half an hour to another shop called Carefor, Carefor, not really sure how you pronounce it and I think that that shop is a lot cheaper but I can not to walk half an hour there. It is currently 1.20 so I've only gone 40 minutes which is pretty good going. So I got a big bag of croutons. These are literally plain croutons, no seasoning, but I just really like them. When I first started eating them, I was like, ugh, bland, but I seem to have got used to them. I then got four satsumas. I then got a bottle of Sprite that I can take with me tonight. I'm actually not gonna drink. We have work tomorrow. And if I'm honest, I'm not really a big, well, I'm not really, I'm not at all a big drinker. So I'm just gonna take my Sprite and be happy sober i then got a bottle of milk so weird i did a food shop like over a week ago and the dates of the stock that they have out now is worse than what i bought a week ago and also i got some falafel and i like having falafel in my wraps in my salads this cost me like over four euros so best be good and i best love them i also got a couscous i absolutely love this couscous and they have like an oriental one as well which is really really nice but then finally i got some more fish fingers they love chunky fish fingers here like they're they're wide so i'm about to use my last lot of fish fingers that i already have in the freezer tonight so i thought that i'd stock up now and then at least on like sunday emergency dinner fish fingers and potatoes <laughs> that's everything that i got i finally was able to use my french bank account card because i haven't had any money in the account yet and i obviously need to use it in a transaction to activate the card and we got paid the other day so i was finally able to use the card i was like putting in the pin like oh my god is it gonna work but i'm gonna put all of this away and then chill for a couple of hours i've literally got over two hours until i have my call and then I'm going to start getting ready for the evening. I literally don't know what I'm wearing. I have a couple of options which do not fit into the theme of Monte Carlo, but I didn't bring anything. So I'm just going to have to go against the theme and just try and look nice. I have just had my medical call. It literally took three minutes, if that. I think, basically, we were meant to be going into Paris today for the medical exam. But I'm pretty sure that there's actually a strike on today. I could be wrong, I've heard there's a lot of strikes in France all the time, but I think that's the reason why we couldn't end up going. They just moved it to like a video call, and I think the only reason why we would have had to go is because they need to do, because I'm a dancer, they have to do a hearing test. But she said that like there's no rush. She literally just asked me a few questions like when was my last blood test, if I smoke, if I drink, just like really box standard questions. There was probably about six questions. 
and yeah, then she's gonna send me a certificate and I'm good to go, good to dance. But it is now coming up to you four o'clock, so I don't really know what to do. I don't know what time we're going out this evening. I'm getting a lift to the party, so I don't see us leaving before like quarter to seven. I think I might have a shower, and then at least I know that I've had a shower, and then I can chillax and slowly start getting ready. I mean, I don't think it's going to take me long to get ready. I'm going to curl my hair because I haven't curled my hair in... Gosh, I don't think I've even curled my hair this year. And I might even put on some fake lashes and really, you know, put on a full face of makeup. <laughs> Who knows? The dilemmas have started. First one I got was my hair. I curled my hair and I, like, brushed it all out and it looked so bad. So I just really quickly straightened it, but I don't know what to wear. So currently have on these leather trousers with this like velvet bodysuit and I just don't like this bodysuit. I haven't worn it in like three years, but I, mean, I just don't have the boobage <laughs> to be putting it off. So I do have a couple of other options. I might just go for this dress, you know? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I literally hate this so much. So I have this dress or I do have this dress. This dress is very like on theme. But I just don't know what shoes, like, this is my issue. I'm not wearing heels. I'm just not, okay? Or I have this top. It's not Monte Carlo themed at all, though. Let me put on this top, and then we can have a little think through. Okay, so I think before I even put on this top properly, I've decided this is not the vibe. I feel like if we was going, like, out, out, then this would be cute. Like, they're all going out on Saturday when I'm home and they've got like a sequence party, I'd be like completely on theme. But I just feel like for tonight, not a vibe. I'm gonna put on the black dress and then we'll see. So this is the black dress on. It's very cute, but it's just, I don't know. Like, look, it's so cute from the back. I did buy a stick on bra, so I could put that on because I'm just like, there's not a lot going on here. So it's a little bit loose. And then maybe I could put like my blazer on just to give me a bit more coverage or something. And then I could wear boots maybe. Let me put them on. The only issue is it's very tight on my legs. Like sitting down is going to be an issue. I don't even have a full length mirror. What can I wear? This is the final look that we are going with. I knew it'd be such a pain to try and find something to wear. I'm just kind of ignoring the theme. Like, I'm not going to think too much into it. I've got on a pair of boots, a blazer that I'm wearing as, like, a blazer dress. Aiden is currently trying to FaceTime me. And I'm just going to go over my hair. It's literally been fried. And then we're good to go. So I'm currently just editing this video. And I just want to give a warning that you may get the ick. From what you're about to witness i've given myself the ick so if you guys get the ick it's okay but i don't know what else you expect from a group for dancers at a party midweek as well <laughs> enjoy <laughs> I've literally just walked through the front door. It is quarter to 12, but I think I'm just gonna quickly eat this cereal bar because I'm feeling a little bit peckish and literally take off my makeup and go to bed. But honestly, I had a, such a fun night. As you guys can probably tell from the videos, we uh, broke out the dress dance, which was honestly so much fun. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm up early to go to work and I just need to Sort out a few things around the flat before, obviously, I leave tomorrow morning. 
and just do like the final bits of packing so i'm gonna love and leave you guys hope that you all did enjoy this vlog if you did be sure to leave us a thumbs up and obviously if you guys aren't already then make sure you subscribe and i should see you very soon with you mum bye